Hey guys, welcome back to the Grotto Customs. It's currently mail day, so I'm dropping off some packages. So if you guys ordered anything last week, just know it's on its way. Welcome back to the Grotto Customs, guys. My name is Zach, I'm an artist here in Orlando, Florida, and I got a really cool video today, and I'm gonna explain it to you in the next clip. Let's go back to my apartment. I was just dropping off some packages here, and I was like, this would be a cool place to film the intro. Here we are guys, we're at my apartment on the pink chair in the messy little art studio. And the title of this video is how I'm gonna become a full-time artist. So that's what I'm gonna be explaining here in this next few minutes. But before we get started, I just wanna say that I'm not claiming that this is the only way to do it or this is how you should go and become a full-time artist. I'm just saying this is how I'm gonna become a full-time artist and I just wanna explain my little story and what I'm gonna be doing in the next few months to kinda of hit my artist goals. And to get started, I just wanna start with, I think every artist should be doing this and if you're just getting started, you need to find your niche. Whatever that might be, whether it be caricatures, whether it be drawing dogs, whether it be anime art, whether it be making Christmas ornaments and you're the best one at making Christmas ornaments, that's your niche and you need to push that. And for me, I think I finally found my niche. It's custom name art. Basically, I draw your name with any kind of theme on the inside and I can turn it into a really cool art piece for you. And I make it all to a custom order where you, the collector, gets to tell me what to draw. I'll draw it for you and I ship it out to your house and that's become my niche. So for this video, I'm gonna be explaining how I'm gonna take that niche, turn it into a business. Hopefully it keeps snowballing and snowballing into a bigger and bigger business and art career for myself. And hopefully I could turn that into the Grotto Customs that you're seeing here on this channel and make it just the Grotto Customs is a lot bigger than it is today. With that being said, for this video, I'm gonna be doing not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing 10 custom name signs so I can show you guys what I mean when I say custom name art and I can show you guys the whole process of how I make the signs and what I'm gonna be doing in the future to sell the signs. But yeah guys, let's get into it. So like everything I create, I like to start with a pencil sketch. So that's what we're doing here for this sign that says home. We're throwing in the four park design, which I'll explain a little bit more about later. There we have the first pencil sketch. But to save you guys some time and some boredom of watching me do all 10 pencil sketches, I went ahead and did it off camera. So I have 10 pencil sketch name signs ready to go. So these 10 sketches are all gonna be examples at my art booth at an art festival that I have coming up here next month. I've been signing up for a whole bunch of festivals. I finally got picked for one, so I'm excited to show up and show everybody what I can do. This one's a really popular design, so I wanted to make sure I'm showing it off on my booth. It's the four parks at Walt Disney World. We got the Magic Kingdom, Castle, Epcot, Tower of Terror, and the tree from Animal Kingdom. Next, we have one of my favorites, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But I also wanted to talk to you guys about what my plan is moving forward on becoming an artist, since that is the main theme of this video. So as you can see, I do custom name art. My, my plan is to sign up for a whole bunch of festivals here in Orlando and eventually try to do one or two a month where I could take orders and then make these and ship them out to everybody. And then hopefully that goes well and I could join the anime circuit and start doing all the big conventions. I think that would be a really cool business move for me and something that I can make a lot of money on and have a lot of fun doing at the same time. And I know what you're thinking, Zach, you're only gonna do this once or twice a month and make a full-time living, that's impossible. And I fully agree with you. And that's when social media comes into play. I've already been doing this now for about two years over on the app called Whatnot, which I'll explain in a little bit. Yo, check this out, guys. It's starting to rain. This is literally the perfect conditions to work on drawings and paintings and the perfect vibe that I need to get this thing finished. Just listen to that. So this one's a traveling theme, so I put a couple different traveling locations in each of the letters. And then I have another Four Parks Disney one right here, but this one says Florida. So with my booth, I'm also going to be selling these ones in case anybody doesn't want to wait or order one. They could just buy one straight off the wall. Okay. And of course, I have to have a Star Wars example. So we got R2-D2, Yoda, Boba Fett, and C-3PO in there. Just like that, the outlines for the Star Wars one is done. I have two more left to go. I'm getting tired, but let's keep pushing through. So 
that step is done. We have all of our inlines and all of our fine details already in, and now we're ready to move on to the next step. So I'm gonna get, let me get it real quick. So now for our next step, we're going in with some thick, thick, oh crap, I lost the lid. I'll find the lid in a second, but we're going in with some thick Sharpies to do the outline, and I'm gonna go one by one, do all the outlines, and then we'll move into the color. This is probably my favorite part of making these signs because you can finally see all those pencil lines and inside details coming to life and seeing what I was actually trying to make. So there's the home. Now we're working on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let's get it all lined up. And we're going to go fast with these ones. There's Rapunzel. It says Tangled. You can finally see what they're saying now. But we're going to go fast with these edits. But let's get back on topic. How am I going to make money with these? And social media is honestly the biggest way to do it. And I know everyone thinks you have to be big on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, but there's a couple other smaller apps out there that you can utilize. So I want to make sure I tell every artist on here, if you're not doing well on the big ones, find a cool niche and find an app that works for you. For me, the app that I do really well on is called Whatnot. It's an auctioning app. I'm not sponsored by them at all, but if you're an artist, definitely check it out. It's called Whatnot. You can go live and sell your art. You can work on it live and build a community, and I've been doing really well on there. And just like that, we're back. Now everything is lined in. We got all the details. We got all the big, thick outlines, and now it's just time for some color. But let me show you guys this before we get going. Check that out. All right, let's get started. We're going to keep going with uh, top left all the way down and then all the way down there. We're gonna start with, again, home, the four park Disney theme. All right, I've been talking a whole bunch, so I'm just gonna let the music play for a few seconds while I start painting. Yes, I am a racer with a llama's ass. Look how flat it is now. Now that's two down. We still got eight more to go. Let's keep going. doesn't love the Goofy movie, right? Four down, six to go. But while we're here, guys, I just want to say I, I appreciate you guys watching the video. We still got a little ways to go, but if you're watching, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what's your favorite name art that I made for this video is. is it Cars piece? Was it the last one? Is it the next one? Is it the Star Wars one? we have Hamlin, which means nothing to you guys, but I'll explain it here while I'm coloring it in. So there's no real cool meaning to Hamlin. Hamlin's actually the name of the city for the art market that I'm going to be setting up at next month. So I decided to make a Hamlin sign just to see if I could sell it. And hey, make sure you tune into the next video when I'm actually working at the art market. We'll see together if I can sell this piece. us to the end of the video guys i just want to say i appreciate you being here in conclusion though this is my plan to become a full-time artist i'm not saying i'm going to be the name art guy forever but i'm not saying i'm not going to be the name art guy forever who knows but 
while I'm focusing on this, I'm also going to be focusing on other paintings, murals, trying to find more mural commissions. And before we finish this video, guys, I just want to say if you want to get your name customized, feel free to send me a message over on Instagram at the Grotto Customs. Or you can find me on Whatnot where I do these live and I'll draw one live for you. If you don't care about doing on Whatnot, find me on Instagram. At the moment, I currently do not have a website, but I'm in the process of building a website. I just want it to be nice so I don't put out something crappy. But for now, I'm just doing all orders on Instagram or Whatnot. So I'll see you guys on either of those platforms. If you enjoyed this content though, if you enjoy watching me make these signs and you wanna see me make more in the future, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I have one call of action. If you made it this far, and let me know in the comments what kind of theme you would choose for your name, and then I'm gonna go through those and then maybe I'll use those for my next samples if you guys give me some good ones to choose from. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you being here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. P.S. We're painting a drum set. I'm gonna make it seem like this was all done really fast. I kind of spread it out. It took me a few days to knock all of these out. I'd say probably a little bit over a week to do these, but I was also doing custom orders throughout the entire week. I've probably made 25 signs, including these 10 this week. So uh, you have to go check out my Instagram to see those.